Am I going to spend you know 30 minutes of my time looking at my phone when I could be just hanging out with my kids playing Legos? I don't want to play Legos. But you know what? That's what love looks like because right. I'm looking at the focus of my kid. We, we tend to think of these things as insi insignificant. The truth of the matter is like they are the most fruitful things we could possibly do in a human life. We're talking about um, in, in, in marriage, we've got uh, this, this challenge of like thinking that like marriage, it doesn't really share in the Christian call to, to be a follower of Christ, yeah. you know, like, and finding that, you know, as, as spouses, we need to find that time for prayer for the sacraments, but, mm -hmm. but to realize that in the, the small things of the day, whether it's changing the baby's diaper, whether it's taking the trash out, cleaning mm -hmm. the dishes, going into the office, you know, that is is us entering into God's vineyard yeah. and and bringing Christ into the world and it, it may sound insignificant it might not sound like you know you're out there you know performing miracles and stuff like that but in in a way it is performing God's work and, and that's that's miraculous of what yeah. that could be for someone else and for the into the world you know a lot of times we compare the things that we do at home where nobody sees yeah you know, and, and the effectiveness of that and the, being a part of God's kingdom and the great things that we could do for God to like giving some talk to some crowd mm -hmm. of people who were right. just in tears and these kind right, of things. Right, right. And I think a lot of it is we, we subconsciously label things that like the public sees as holy yeah. as things that are worthy of me doing. Right. When the truth of the matter is, it's not a person in that, in that room that may be yeah. sitting here listening to a talk or whatever, or even the speaker himself, yeah. who is capable of doing any of those things if they weren't, you know, That's had right. their diaper changed at home when they were yeah. you know, six months old, right. if somebody didn't pour their life out for them in a way that no one will ever know, yeah. you know, and where, where does it go after you sit and listen to a talk and, you know, you start crying. Your exactly. Eyes. Right. Right. Where does it go? Because you're not actually holy by sitting and listening to a talk. No. I'm not actually holy by giving a talk. Right. The only time that holiness becomes holiness is in the context of real relationships with real people. That's right. When, when these insights that I've received change the way that I operate at home. Yeah. That I stop yelling at my kids so much. Right. You know, that I'm willing to sit and, and, and listen to my wife's day and enter into that reality. Yeah. As opposed to being like, well, I had a hard day too, so just suck <laughs> it up, babe. You know, something like that. Right. You know, like, at what point does it become, at what point does it become reality? Yeah. And it's, it's most real mm -hmm. at home and our families when nobody else sees. Yeah. You know, it's most real in my own mind at the end of the day when I'm deciding how I'm going to spend my, my five minutes of free yeah. time. You know, it's it's most real when I'm when I'm deciding like, am I going to eat another piece of cake? <laughs> you know, yeah. like whatever. Not just because it makes me fat, but because I am searching yeah. for fulfillment somewhere. Else. Right. right. Am I going to spend you know 30 minutes of my time looking at my phone when I could be just hanging yeah. out with my kids playing Legos? I don't want to play Legos. Yeah. I don't. Right. But you know what? That's what love looks like because right. I'm looking at the focus of my kid. You know. That's right. And so it's it's. The beauty of it is we, we tend to think of these things as insi insignificant right. because the public opinion yes. doesn't really hold them as very high. The public yeah. opinion isn't looking at us being like, good job, yeah. you know? So we assume they're insignificant. Yeah. The truth of the matter is like, they are the most fruitful things we could possibly do in a human life. I think that's why Pope Francis said, uh, I love that the phrase he used, waste time with mm, your kids, absolutely. with your family. Absolutely. Like waste time, we, we, we're, we're some, sometimes so caught in production and producing that we don't realize it's the little things like that mm -hmm. that gives so much fruit into the relationships of other one, each other because it's that, that community that we're called to. Right. And so many times when we go to our social media devices, it's it's making us antisocial to the very relationships that God's placed right in front of us. Not yeah. those far away, but those right here in front of us. That's yeah. where we're called to be. That's what we're called to do. And keep it all the way. Oh, oh.